Bishop Wooden will be the guest speaker for Superintendent Will Nichols' pre-anniversary service to be held this evening at 6 p.m. at Victorious Priest Church of God in Christ. The church is located at 2116 Page Road in Durham. He will also be the guest speaker for Bishop Leroy J. Willard's pre-anniversary service to be held Sunday, August 18th at 6 p.m. at Davenport's Temple Church of God in Christ. The church is located at 2575 West 5th Street in Washington. To reserve a seat on the bus, send an email to Maryland underscore 518 at yahoo.com. We encourage everyone to join us for Tuesday night service to be held August 13th at 7.30 p.m. in the multi-purpose room. The speaker will be Elder Tony Dixon. Ladies, the final Slumber Empowerment Sisters Circle will be held Tuesday, August 13th at 7 p.m. There will be engaging Bible study topics for the Married Ladies Circle, Single Ladies, Lady Leaders Circle, VIPs Circle, and Young Millennials Circle. To register or receive additional information, send an email to ur underscore women at powooden.org. Refreshments will be served at 6.30 p.m. All ladies are invited to join First Lady Pamela Wooden for the Women's Department Monthly Prayer Call to be held Thursday, August 15th at 6 a.m. The ladies are continuing to seek the Lord through prayer and intercede for the needs of women. All prayer requests can be sent to ur underscore women at powooden.org. To participate, dial 530-881-1212 and enter code 726-840-337 when prompted. Next Sunday, August 18th, the Upper Room Church of God in Christ will celebrate our 39th church anniversary. Please plan to be in attendance during the morning worship service as we highlight the longevity of this ministry. Attention all girls ages 6 to 12, Girls of Destiny will host its annual Back to School Meet and Greet on Thursday, August 22nd at 7.30 p.m. Make your way to the Fellowship Hall for an evening of fun along with a school supply giveaway. For additional information, send an email to Arquetta Lindsay at girlsofdestiny at yahoo.com or call the Youth Ministry Office at 919-829-6160. Bishop Wooden has designated Sunday, August 25th as Life Sunday. Join us as we celebrate and speak on behalf of the voiceless. Remember, Unborn lives matter. Your taste buds are in for a treat because your Sunday dinner will be prayerfully prepared on August 25th by the Intercessory Prayer Team. Get ready for the Soul and Afro-Caribbean dinner sale. This year's menu includes fried fish, turkey barbecue, jerk chicken, yams, macaroni and cheese, cabbage, collard greens, coleslaw, potato salad, and an assortment of desserts. Be sure to see a member of the Intercessory Prayer Team to place your pre-order. The fall semester of NC Third Kojic Academy will commence Saturday, September 7th, and registration is now through September 6th. All classes for the two-year program will be held here at the jurisdictional headquarters, the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Additionally, apologetics will be offered as the fall elective. Online registration has begun and tuition is $200 per semester for the two-year program and $100 for each elective course. To register, send an email to infotech at nc3rdkojicacademy.com. The Upper Room Church has a job opening available for a business manager who will be chiefly responsible for managing the day-to-day -day business affairs of the church. Duties include proper funds allocation, bill payment, acquisitions, and requisition processing. Duties also include payroll processing and some HR functions. All interested candidates with accounting and business experience should email your resume and questions to First Lady Pamela Wooden at firstlady at plwooden.org. For more details regarding this position, please see the posting on the bulletin boards. Applications are available in the administration office. The Jurisdictional Department of Women is having a fundraiser and calling on all the sisters of NC Third. Ladies, introduce yourselves to your sisters by creating an ad describing yourself and your business. This ad book is designed by Mother Beverly DeJanay to promote a sister-to-sister -sister connection amongst the NC Third ladies. Again, this is a fundraiser for the Department of Women, and the goal is for 50 ladies to purchase a full-page ad. So please stop by the table in the vestibule after service to participate. A full page is $100, a half page is $50, and a quarter page is $25. Ladies, get to know your sisters today. I'm Cheryl Harris, and I'm into my 26th year of being at the Upper Room. Um, on a Saturday e uh, evening, I heard him preaching on, on TV, and I saw it. It was very interesting, so um, 
I decided that I was going to go and find that church the next day, which I did. And I always believed myself to be a Christian. But after sitting through that first sermon and Pastor Wood stepping all over my toes, I was in shock, surprised, very upset. I was so upset I came back the next Sunday. And during altar call, I went to the altar and Pastor Wooden came out of the pulpit and came directly up to me, didn't ask me if I was saved. He looked at me and said, you need to get saved. And I was startled. But when he laid hands on me, it was electrifying. I felt excited, exhilarated, but at the same time, a sense of peace came over me. And I've never been the same since. When we were over at the other church at 2901 Sanford Road, um, uh, that <laughs> people would come to the upper room and we were packed in that church like sardines. There were, there were folding chairs in the, aisle, uh, in the aisleways and uh, everybody wanted to hear what Pastor had to say. Because when you hear the truth for the first time, it's startling and he speaks the truth like no one, no one I have ever heard. And um, um, it was exhilarating to hear the, um, the way he preached. Pastor Wooden is a modern day crusader. He teaches, preaches strictly the Bible. And he's on a crusade to make sure um, as a parishioner, we know how to lead our lives by biblical doctrine. And he's also on a crusade to make sure that the things of the Bible are, are spread out into the community as well. Prepare your hearts and minds for a day filled with love, adoration, and pageantry, along with a must-see live musical. He carried his briefcase, written and produced by Clarence Rocky Raven as we celebrate the 32nd pastoral anniversary of Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., God's Faithful Watchman, Sunday, September 15th at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.